All right, everyone, just wanted to take some time to go over how to uh, record um, your highlights or how to create highlights um, for yourself uh, using the VO system. So each player would get a account for VO. Um, you don't need an account to view a full game. Um, you know, if someone sent you a link or I sent you a link, you can always watch a game without an account. But uh, if you want to create um, highlights, which most of you guys do, um, here's how to do it. So you'll have um, a link which I'll provide to you uh, and basically when you log in you're able to see all of our games, all of any practices, games, literally anything. Um, and this is um, also a good tool in case you wanted to ever see things that you've done in practice that you could have done better as well as in games things that um, you know you're looking for for player improvement and also we use it as a tool for helping players improve during the games and things as well. Um, so I'll take this game for example. And uh, what you'll see here is the full game running. And so um, just fairly quickly, the goal here is to create a highlight, right? So what I'll do is, um, you know, like again, I could, I could do a lot of different things in this tool here, but to create a highlight, what we're going to do is hit that option right here that says create. It's going to bring up um, some tags that I could use. I don't have to use them, but I could. Um, and say I say I wanted to call it, um, you know, I could, let's say I wanted to call it attack, right? So now it's given me, a, after I hit the tag, it's given me an area in which, um, how you know what what part what portion of the game am I looking to create a highlight for? So for example, um, you know, okay. So for example, this part of the game, right? Say looks maybe a defensive play. I have narrowed it down to where I think I want it because I saw something. So I come here, um, you know, I hit play. Okay, that clearance. Okay, let's say I wanted to highlight that. And that was something that I want to. Maybe, maybe you want to even get some of the play beforehand just to see, you know, how how the build up was. So let's say this was it. Okay, player came down, you know, make a thing, and then you sort of made the clearance. Okay, and and then at that point you could stop it roughly around here. And so what you do is you'll add some comments. You'll say uh, made a clearance. Um, Again, uh, because you're just doing it for yourself, there's no need for you to select a player. Um, but what you want to do is make sure that this is set to um, visibility only you, because only you're the one that's creating. You don't want a bunch of people seeing your your, your highlights in one particular game. Uh, same time, you don't want um, it public, or you could have it so your teammates could see it. You can even tag your teammates and say, hey, this is what I was trying to tell you during the game. You should have been going this way versus that way you could you can create that um use this tool to do that but in this case i'm creating a highlight for myself um so in this case i'll i'll create a highlight um so now it's created it says highlight created up here i'll come back here and notice the one that i said create a um you know i, I said uh, uh what was it sorry made a clearance I should have said attack, but okay. So now I could play it and I could see the clip that I was talking about and I made the clearance, right? Now I could also, since I tagged it wrong, I could actually come back in here, edit it, and uh, change this to defense, right? And, you know, just go ahead and save it again. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, actually, I left that attack in there, so let me go ahead and clear it out. Um, attack, yeah. All right. So now you'll see. Obviously, I could, like I said, I could play that portion of it. But what what's important, or what the part that I think a lot of folks typically do is they like to screenshot what's here. What's happened is is uh, it comes out grainy, and it's hard for especially a recruit or someone to look at to see how that play was or you uh, and things like that. So what you want to do is then to use this option here to download. So if I hit download, I can now download the film right to um, my uh, computer. Uh, like I said, this is typically better on a, on a computer. You could do it on a, on a 
on your um, phone as well, but I believe it might be a little difficult. And then you can come here and watch the portion of the game. Um, obviously, a much bigger screen. You can see how the clearance was. And just, yeah, okay. So, yeah, I'm, I'm keeping that. And then from there, you could um, kind of keep a collection of those. And as I said, I recommend you do it after each game, um, maybe a, a few days after, get your mind cleared a little bit. But it's something that you should do week to week um, and kind of put those together and then just add it to your collection. And then that way, when you're ready to make a longer highlight, now you have maybe... 20 highlights to select from, but then now you've narrowed it down to maybe eight because you think that the other however many left, um, you know, weren't, the other 12 weren't kind of what you're looking for or whatever. So now you narrow it down to eight strong ones and that's what you'd use to put together your highlight. Um, what we what we do uh, for folks is if you put all that together and put all the um, the smaller highlights, you can also send it to us and we would put together a um it's kind of like a, a banner page for you uh maybe add some instrumental to it for it and uh, maybe even the closing page for some folks it's a good um presentation a lot a lot of coaches like that um i've seen not just at the coll collegiate level but even at the pro level they like that sort of um uh, production that we give um to it so that could be something that we could help you with but for sure go ahead and take the time and break out your highlights um and uh, then just get and send them, send them over to us. Or if you want to package it up yourself and keep your own highlights for yourself, that's completely fine as well. We typically post all of the highlights that we create for folks on our YouTube channel. Um, sometimes we have it private depending on what the uh, folks want or we may keep it public. But typically that's where we will get um, folks looking at it like um, college coaches and in some cases pro, uh, pro recruits and things like that. But um, we would also... Um, that link that you have from YouTube uh, would also be where you'd put it in your NCSA, which I'll talk about at a different point. But your NCSA is basically your, your recruiting profile portal, and you'll have that there, and that's where coaches can kind of see your um, your highlights. But the highlights are big are big for us, and it's not just for uh, making yourself look good, but also for player improvement. Um, we typically have team meetings that are surrounded around portions of the game that I'll tag certain folks on. And they'll talk about, you know, things that they need to improve on. Um, another thing um, you could do with highlights also is, um, for example, let's say I pick a portion of the game here. I could create a highlight. Um, and I, now this is for a team. Let's say I'm, I'm working with a, a player or uh, your teammate trying to help another player out. So I could hit, um, I don't know, I'm picking a tag here. And uh, you can call them, you can ask them out. Like you say, uh, A, um, in your comment, you could tag them and say, hey, um, Anthony, um, this is where I would like you to be when I pass the ball, let's say, right? So what happens is once you tag Anthony, what's going to happen is when you hit save, and you could still make this, only the players involved, or you could make it a team specific, or you could just keep it to just you. But you could say players involved, and once you do something like that, then when you tag Anthony and hit and hit create the highlight, it's going to create the highlight, and then not only that, but it also sends Anthony an email letting him know, which I probably I didn't realize this is actually we'll send an Anthony an email right now saying that he needs to. Um, you know, look at this particular part of the of the film. So you can see why it's a very powerful tool. Um, it allows them, another player, to kind of see and work and, and have discussions about the game and um, and get more involved in the media side of the, of, of the game as opposed to just on the field. You can kind of see things after you take a step back. So I'll go ahead and delete um, this for now because I don't want Anthony thinking that I need him to do anything. But um, but that's, that's essentially it. All right. So... Uh, any questions, you know where to find me in terms of how to create a highlight.